Hello everybody and welcome to a new in action video for our latest release, the Symphonic Woodwinds. Today I'm going to be taking you through the music I've written for the teaser and I'm going to give you some ideas of how you can use the woodwinds and in what kind of way they work with the strings and brass and within an orchestral slash cinematic uh, piece. I'm just going to start from the top here. Um, it starts with the, with the strings introduction here bass uh, super soul tasto i've chosen all the mics uh, because i want to achieve like a wide big cinematic sound and the ambient mic the tree mic i usually uh, always use to cut the mic above the conductor and the close mic for a little bit more detail but in the intro it's it's quite soft here the violin start super soul tasto here as well uh, similar mic choice So that's my intro. I've, I'm using here uh, two different shorts. Uh, on the one hand, I'm using short brushed, so quite quite soft. Not, not so abrupt. And then, uh, so if you look at it here, it kind of fades in around here. Quite soft and gentle. And then uh, when I enter here with my accompaniments here, um, I'm changing to, or I'm adding the short uh, spiccato here. And so if you have listened together, the short brush starts and then slowly it gets more, more to the point, uh, sh shorter and sh uh, sharper with the spiccato. Then I'm, use, I'm doing a, a similar thing here, here eventually uh, the brushed version stops and I'm, I'm continuing with the spiccato uh, which is more uh, to the point and a bit sharper. It's quite a nice uh, transition uh, if you want to kind of achieve this effect. Then I'm using pizzicato up here, uh, uh, second violin. I'm not. I'm trying to not always use the ensemble, even though it's quite convenient. But if you use uh, the different section, you you achieve a bit of width in your uh, sound field. You're just adding a a little detail. And down here, I've got my bass coming in as well. So that's my intro. And then I've got here when it says uh, on the teaser. You've got your strings and then you've got your brass, of course. I'm coming in with my brass. Fairly simple orchestration here. If I just solo this. So I'm going back to the tonic here, uh, my B-flat minor. And on that tonic, I'm introducing this phrase here. On the uh, viola short spiccato and jelly short spiccato. So and all together again it sounds like this. And then I'm introducing the woodwinds when it says here uh, it's time for winds uh, to give them kind of the spotlight. Uh, here I've got percussion. I'm going to take you through the percussion bits here uh, later on. But uh, this is my uh, addition uh, for the Christmas time we're in at the minute. So if we just listen to what's happening here. I'm doing a similar thing as I did here with the strings. And the bass clarinet as well. And then adding the bassoon here. And then the alto flute doing a flutter here. It's quite cool. The library comes with a lot of 
uh, effects like woodwinds effects like harmonics flatter uh, uh, trills uh, overblown notes which are quite cool quite a nice effect and then we have the big boy down here contra bassoon legato which sounds absolutely amazing And this last line, uh, I'm doubling up with the strings. So I guess that's kind of one of the secrets of the winds, like creating new texture while combining two or even three instruments uh, from, from different sections. So for example, what I'm doing here, contrabassoon with, with the strings, or um, later on, it's, it's uh, shorts with the uh, bassoon, etc. So you get new colors into your composition. So it just makes it a bit more raspy, like the, the, the bass here is quite quite soft and subtle and then the contrabassoon gives it that bite. And then I'm off uh, to the next section. So if we just give a, a last listen here without the strings. Let me just mute the percussion as well for now. So we've got up here, let's see what's going on. We've got the flutes doing uh, runs here uh, using the legato patches. So I usually play them in, just hit, hit record, and then at the position where I want them to play, I'm just going like this. And uh, then it records it, and I kind of tweak tweak the notes to achieve my, my uh, appropriate scale. It's quite cool. Then the same here up here with the piccolo. And these are kind of more typical ways of using them in an orchestral context. And I'm using here alto flute shorts. And uh, here after this big riff, which sounds absolutely amazing if we just listen to the contrabassoon shorts here. Really powerful, uh, really cool. And if we actually add all the ones down here that play this, uh, together with the alto flute actually. And then here in the end of this uh, motif, I'm using uh, an alto flute short, uh, overblown. Really amazing sounds. Try one more time. So quite a busy arrangement for the woodwinds here, but I liked using all of those uh, effects. And let's just see exactly what's going on. So here I'm going back to this uh, main uh, kind of motif that started here with the, with the strings, just to remind you. Uh, we have the same thing here with the bassoon. Then the contrabassoon enhances every other. And the bass clarinet. Here I was a little in doubt at first whether I should add this as well. It might it might get slightly too busy, but and then I have the runs up here again. And 
here uh, the core only. You might hear it. Out. <laughs> hear it out quite clearly the core only and I quite I actually quite like it a bit of a hypnotic kind of function there and then we've got the contrabass clarinet and the bassoon playing kind of together with the strings these long deep kind of low uh, legato passages <laughs> Contra bassoon comes in as well here to add even more. <laughs> to really like this sound is absolutely amazing. And then again here the, the ensemble just backs up this main part here. nice together and quite bitey. Then I've got uh, my percussion arrangement down here. So as you already know, the, uh, the sleigh bells. Then I've got this uh, taiko ensemble. Sorry, that's from the, from the Hans Zimmer uh, library. Bit of com uh, compression as well on there. Without the EQ, it would sound like this. Just a little brighter. Then I'm using the Easter Island hits as well. And a bit heavier hits there. Anvil kind of sounding. Here. Really like those hits. Then I've got a high uh, taiko here. Also a uh, slight EQ on there. Just, I think it was a bit too bright for my taste. Enhancing uh, this. And then here I'm using uh, two different drums, uh, right and left. So if we go into the mix here, you can see this one is hard, panned, hard, right. This one is panned, hard, left. And if I zoom in here, uh, even closer. So the one that's panned to the left is playing just a fraction earlier uh, than the one to the right. And I want to kind of do that because if you play it at the same time and you pan the opposite, uh, then it kind of cancels each other out. I'm just going to give you the idea here. So it's kind of wide uh, on both sides, uh, these drums. And then I've enhanced those with some ensemble con lenio so um, we add a little bit of brightness to those hits uh, down here i'm using uh, christian's uh, tip and trick uh, just adding a bit of a sub bass an octave below my bass just a tiny tiny bit so if you have the right system it kind of it rumbles woodwinds here kind of picking up on the intro what the strings were doing uh, but divided onto the oboes so this was the first violin it's now the oboe the piccolo was the second violin uh, pizzicato here and then the flute the main And then really low here, uh, lowest note of the contra bassoon. Just really wanted to add that there in the end, but it does sound really cool. So thanks a lot for watching. Have fun with the symphonic woodwinds. Happy Christmas. Bye bye. <laughs>